we are already in the altcoin season according to the altcoin index you can see that we are ranking 78 into the altcoin season and this is beautiful altcoin season is simply that period where altcoins are going to be doing greatly well within this period bitcoin price is expected to be stable while the bitcoin dominance continues to dump this would make investors begin to pull money into altcoin which is why it is very simple or it is very easy to see altcoins doing 1000 percent 2000 percent in a very short time every altcoin season the last time we experienced an altcoin season was in the year 2021 and it was great which is why in this video i want to show us how we can take advantage of this market and how we can identify and buy altcoins before the pump there are very simple steps to take and you will know when a particular cryptocurrency is about to pump if you like this kind of content and would want to take advantage of the market especially in a season like this you would want to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when i drop videos that would profit you like this for the sake of this video i'm going to show us two ways that we can identify projects or cryptocurrencies before the pump when we do that we'll would go in early and it will be a very good opportunity to make money the first thing you want to do is visit coin market cap this is coin market cap and um, you can also use coin gecko all right but i'm using coin market cap and um, i'll just go to cryptocurrencies and go to gainers and losers right you would want to pay attention carefully so the time frame here i'm going to say 30 days and uh, i'm going to say all because all the cryptocurrencies that are on coin market cap I want to filter them. I want to see the ones that have made the most money in the past 30 days. All right. You can see the first one here is Moli. And Moli has made over um, 9,000 percent in 30 days. The current volume is $87,000. All right. We have Billy Cat. And you can just see them, you know. Now, what I want to check out for is, first of all, let me go into this Moli. All right. Which is um, the highest so far. In 24 hours, Moli is down 12%. You can see the market cap for Moli is $103.83 million. Okay. So we want to see everything that has happened in the market, how it was able to, you know, get to this point. All right. Now, this is where the ultimate move came in. This particular move happened on the 8th of January 2024, this year. All right. It was um, that day that we saw this move. So what we want to do is we want to identify some of these guys that are already in the project and we're going to learn from what they did so we can do it with other projects that are coming up. It is a very simple step. And um, we'll just go to the contract address here. All right. You can see this is the contract address for Moli and it is on Ethereum chain. So we're just going to copy it. Okay. If you want to read more about this Moli, you can always check their community, the market, you know, the news and about. Right now, when you click on the market, you're going to see that it is only listed on Uniswap, right? It is not on any exchange right now. It is on Uniswap. All we are interested in here is just the contract address, and that is what we've got. So we'll go to a platform called thedune.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video, so you can just click on, and it will bring you to this page, all right? Um, when you are here, you just um, have to type token... analyzer okay when you type token analyzer this is the first one that you would see just click on it token analyzer at tom so we're going to open that remember the contract address that you just copied we're going to paste the contract address here and okay let's paste it here under the chain we're going to select ethereum and here you can see they are asking us how many days do we want to analyze now let's go back to coin market cap the big move happened on the 8th of january okay from that time to this period is just 10 days interval so we would go back to dune and we are going to say we want to you know run analysis for say 15 days all right within let's say let's say 13 days okay and we'll do enter and we'll run the queries now, it is going to show us all the activities, all the buys and sells that has happened within this period. You can see right here that um, the new wallets that has, you know, joined this project or new wallets that just bought this project is showing just four. 
and the total within this period of time is 254 right the fact that we have just four new wallets means nobody is buying this project right now probably everybody is selling off and nobody's buying it also means it is not a time for you to buy these projects probably it is too late for you to buy right now okay when you scroll down you're going to see that this is where the volume came in you can see number of wallets accumulating you know based on the day so on the first of sorry on the 6th of january we had this high volume coming in all right you can see the number of wallets against token price it was also it also experienced the highest on the 6th of january um when we scroll down here is the very important parts or the very interesting parts okay these are the top 100 trades by estimated profits and it simply means those wallets that has made the most money in this project within this period of time and why is it necessary to check out those that have made money from this project it is because one will learn what they have done like i said once we understand how they were able to you know pick up this project so we can follow the next step we can follow up with whatever they are going to be doing next all right so this is like a background check and we want to identify those guys that really did well for this project so you can see that this person sold and he or she made 1139 okay on the 8th of january let's go back to coin market cap you can see this is eight so probably he sold at 0 0.011 thereabouts meanwhile he might have bought from 0 0.000018 this is incredible all right so um let's go back here a lot of what we see here are just trading boats you know buying and selling it is not right but it is what it is so one way to check out for real traders accounts is to go down and you know check for the volume those with great volume so under the top 100 trades by volume you can see this guy sold um dollars on the 14th of january okay when we check 14th you can see this is 11th this is 12 this is 14 so you know this is also a good place to sell so you made a lot of money from it so let's inquire from this guy this wallet we're going to click the wallet address and okay this is this is his balance banana gone developer okay there's supposed to be a contract address here but i think it's hidden so we'll just copy from here this one here copy the contract address and then we'll go to this website called thebank.com i'm also going to leave a link in the description for this so you can just click on it now under the debank we're going to paste the contract address here okay um the one we just copied so here it is this is the total amount the person has in his wallet right now thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and eighteen. and when you click on this wallet you're going to see he's holding okay he's currently holding just ethereum probably this is not who we're looking for let's check the next person this is two thousand and this is four thousand so let's check this guy he sold on the 16th of january so when we check here 16th is still you know in profits this is 16 all right and if you buy from here selling at this point is really a huge profit for you so we're going to investigate this wallet number 14 so we'll go into the wallet address and we're just going to copy the contract address here all right when you paste the contract address or the wallet address you will now open it okay here you would see you would see the various tokens that this person is holding right the total balance is what we have here under the wallet you would see this person is holding ethereum avax magic ethereum you know feg well um i know feg token but you know this is just an insight because for whatever reason this person is holding feg worth 648 dollars all right that should be why and he's also holding you know pls pad worth 252 okay so what we want to do like i said is we are going to be checking out some of the tokens that this person is holding possibly you know there would be pump from here because for this person to be making this kind of money or to have made this kind of money from moly 
it definitely is exposed to some information that we are not. So this is one way to investigate wallets when there is uh, a great move in price. You can just come here and check out for those that are making the most money or that have made the most money. Follow whatever they are buying and you also add it to your portfolio. That way it is going to be easy for you to make money. So um, let's go check out FEG. So when you type FEG, I think this is FEG. This is the new one. Okay, so probably he is holding the new FEG. Is there an opportunity to buy FEG right now? The new FEG, when we go to all, okay, FEG has pumped. And this happened on the 26th of December. Okay, and we are coming back down. Has he already taken profits from this pump? Or he is expecting another pump from this point upward? This is a decision you would have to make or you would have to take for yourself and do more research let's also check the um pls is there a buy opportunity for post pad at the moment well we saw this high last year okay okay let's go to everything all right so this is what post pad looks like right now do you think this is a buy opportunity is, is this person expecting pulse pad to, you know, go up any moment from now? Is that why he's holding it? Or what could be the reason? Well, this is something you would have to agree within yourself, make your analysis, and, you know, go into the trade if you're convinced. Follow those who really understand and are doing it, okay? The second way to identify cryptocurrencies that are going to pump is by using the trading view strategy. And I'm going to be showing us that very quickly. This is trading view and this part that i'm about to show us is in fact one of my favorites ever okay so i want you to pay attention to this i would also want you to give this video a thumbs up if you have watched to this point okay it simply means you are getting value here don't also forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not you can drop in the comment section if you have a question and i will see to them at the end of the video trading view is a very advanced application for traders we use it for stock trading crypto trading you know forex trading and any kind of financial market trading you want to do, which is why I advise everybody to get TradingView and get familiar with it if you are not using it already. Okay, TradingView has a way of telling us about cryptocurrencies that are going to pump either in Binance or Bybit, KuCoin, Coinbase, whatever crypto exchange you're using. There is a way to check out for cryptocurrencies that are going to pump on various exchanges. All right, without wasting your time, let's go straight into it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is look at the um left bottom corner you would see crypto pair screener okay when you click on it okay let's take this up yep when you click on this crypto pair screener you're going to have this all right you don't have to do much just follow the steps that i'm going to show us the first thing you will do is you will just go to um filter here when you click on the filter you are going to search for the negative directional indicator yeah so this is positive directional indicator and the negative directional indicator you don't have to touch this one so this negative directional indicator you're going to change this below so when the negative directional indicator crosses down okay let's the value be equal to positive directional indicator okay so this is an instruction we're giving we are setting our parameters and we're saying when the negative crosses down okay it should indicate a positive directional indicator for a pump all right so we're going to take this up and right here you can see the various crypto tokens that are that are about to pump right now the number one here is the solana you know usdt meanwhile we can just do usdt so that it will filter out all the usdt pairs that are available number one we have solana we have the ape we have Pyte usdt we have and we have the mbl usdt so let's check the first one we'll just click on solana and we would bring this down okay so um, this is what we have on the solana charts and if you look at this squarely you would understand why this indicator He's already telling us that we are going to pump. Okay, let me show us very quickly. 
this is four hours here yeah? let's take it to one day there is something i did not show us let me quickly show us that before i continue okay on this page you can see that we have different time frames here yeah? okay you can use four hours time frame you can use you know one day time frame one week time frame and it will filter out the coin pairs based on those that are you know um, looking out to pump in within four hours within two hours depending on the time frame that you're using currently i am using the one day time frame because this is a free version of trading view so if you subscribe to trading view you'll be able to use a lesser time frame okay now this is why our indicator is telling us that um solana is about to you know pump right now we've been we've been having a very bullish move for solana in the past weeks okay and you can see this is this has been the support line okay uh, i'm just going to do something very basic here so we would understand okay moved out moved out and we saw this 127 and here okay do you think do you think we are going back up or not all right so this is what the market looks like and if you ask me i would say that um we have already taken out liquidity from this point okay you can see what happened here let me take this off you can see there was a break of structure here and you know we took out liquidity still went down and then came back to retest this zone if we eventually break out of here which is likely to happen pretty soon then we are going to see exactly what the indicator is predicting all right so this is why the indicator is telling us solana is about to pump keep an eye on it and all of that i believe this was really helpful you can also you know you can also check for other coin pairs like the ape like pites and make sure you do your own research and don't always rely on what the indicator is going to say the indicator is just a way of supporting you you know um telling you what coin is looking like it's going to pump very soon then you can pick it up from there thank you very much i believe this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video